highest priority is not getting boosters. We think it's important to get boosters to people, but the overwhelming highest priority is to vaccinate the unvaccinated. All right, well, that was Dr. Anthony Fauci pushing for more Americans to get vaccinated, saying it is the highest priority. Well, this comes as the FDA rejected Pfizer's booster shot for the general public, Sean. But as we continue to see breakthrough cases amongst the vaccinated, does this administration have its priorities straight? Well, let's ask former Health and Human Services Deputy Secretary, who served under President Trump and Operation Warp Speed, Eric Hargan. Mr. Secretary, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks. Good to be back. All right, we're, so we're seeing so many vaccinated people get the virus again. Some are being hospitalized. So do you think that this administration should be focusing on therapeutics and that as a recovery option as well? Well, they absolutely need to be focusing on therapeutics. I mean, that's an important part of this. We always knew that. I mean, Operation Warp Speed had two parts. Uh, you know, probably the, the more famous part is the vaccines, but therapeutics were an important part of it as well uh, because people get sick from the disease. And, you know, when we were first conceptualizing of this, we knew we had to have a vaccine to prevent the illness, but if people got sick, you had to have therapeutics as well. So it's an important part of it. It's, it's not something that can be neglected. No, I, I agree. I mean, especially as more people are vaccinated and getting sick, the administration seems like they're downplaying the therapeutic aspect that would be helpful once, you know, if you, in fact, got it. But it's interesting, you know, this administration kept talking about we're going to follow the science. We're not going to be like you horrible people in the Trump administration that were doing crazy stuff like Operation Warp Speed and getting a vaccine to market quickly. Um, but then they got ahead of the FDA and started telling people about boosters. Um, I, I feel like they've politicized the FDA in a way that they only dreamt the Trump administration had. Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, you look at what happened here with two major vaccine scientists from the FDA resigning. Um, and, right. you know, they, they did say in 2020, they said if political pressure had been put on them, they would resign. Uh, now we see they were telling the truth. Political pressure was put on them and they resigned. Uh, so that that, in fact, happened. They weren't uh, they weren't lying when they said they'd resign if they felt under undue pressure. And, and that's exactly what we saw just happen, which is extremely unfortunate. Well, and just today, Pfizer announced that their trial in children from 511 is safe. Um, and so in the next couple of weeks, they will be asking the FDA for emergency approval for this age group. One, do you think that parents are even going to trust this? And are you concerned that there will be mandates amongst children in this age group now to get the vaccine? Well, you know, with regard to mandates, I think what people should be concentrating on, you know, whether it's any part of government, they should be concentrating on education, appealing to people to get vaccinated, explaining to them the benefits of it. Because I think, you know, with regard to mandates, I feel that there's a there's an issue here from a messaging point of view. If the vaccines work, then there's no need for a mandate because the vaccines protect against the disease. Uh, if the vaccines don't work, you shouldn't mandate them at all because they're not working. Well, I was on warp speed. These vaccines work. People should get them, and they should they should be made to understand it is in their best interest to do it. Uh, there are effects of COVID. People die of it. People are hospitalized. There could be very long-term effects for COVID, as there are for many diseases. So people should get vaccinated. I got vaccinated. My wife got vaccinated. My, my son got vaccinated. Uh, that's I believe that that's the best way to put an end to the scourge of this pandemic. But I'm afraid that approaching things like mandates and doing things in the wrong way here is just going to backfire, as I think it has already started to backfire. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Secretary Hargan, I appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for joining us. Sure, absolutely. Thank you.